Hey guys, welcome to my newest project, which is a 19 unit mobile home park here in uh, Auburndale, Florida. It's just uh, southwest of Orlando, about 50 miles. So we have 16 mobile homes and three stick built houses on about a two acre lot. And when we got the property, we uh, only had nine units occupied. Since then, one has been evicted, so I was only eight. And, uh, and all the vacant units needed a lot of work. So the good thing about mobile homes is that a lot of work will only take you about 500 bucks to if it's really thrashed, two grand at the most to get it up and running in rentable condition. So I'm standing in one right now that hasn't been worked on yet. This one has the most work needed, so we saved it for last. Um, it needs plumbing, it needs all kinds of renovations. So let me show you around and show you what it looks like before and then I'll take you to a couple units um, that we completed already and show you what, we look, what they look like. So this is what it looked like. The flooring here was completely thrashed, covered in fleas, moldy, um, really bad. So we ripped all of it out. We have broken windows as you can see. The kitchen um, actually isn't in too bad a shape. Uh, we just need to be clean it up a little bit and uh, um, get some new appliances because they're not working. Um, and the flooring, of course, the linoleum here will be ripped up and taken down. But you can see, guys, that this is no Four Seasons. The, the you know these aren't top-notch rentals here, but people still pay mo good money for them. This unit right here will rent out for uh, $500 a month, and believe it or not people will be um, knocking down the door to rent them. And when you get into some of these rural areas here like Central Florida, people pay money to rent these things. And these are, these are really good cash cows, these are good investments. Um, so I'm gonna show you what some of the other units that we have completed look like. And uh, the park <clears throat> is, uh, um, has been quite a fun project thus far. And um, let me show you around a little bit. So here's one of the houses. And the, the park goes all the way back there. That's another house. And then we have two mobile home units back there. And it's kind of an interesting setup. We have the street here, which I'm walking on right now, and the park is on both sides of the street. So here's a few units that we completed already. And one of the first things we did was we put lattice underneath uh, on the bottom of all the units. Like that. When, when you have uh, the bo open bottoms of these trailers, they look, really look bad and that immediately cleaned up the look of this park. And also what we did was we focused on the units that needed the least amount of work so we could get them uh, ready to go and get tenants in there immediately. So let me take you through one and show you what it can look like when it's done. So we added new carpet, which immediately changes the look of this. New paint, new linoleum in the kitchen, and we fixed we fixed a lot of the plumbing issues. We fixed the electrical, um, new drywall in certain places that needed to be uh, added because the holes in the walls you can see right here. This actually we drilled out um, so we can have an access panel as well to reach the plumbing behind this shower right here because there was a leak. So we replaced all that plumbing. And again guys, just cleaned it up. I mean, as long as you have just a clean unit, people will rent them. And what we're doing is, instead of just renting these out as a standard lease, we're doing rent to own. So that limits us from all the maintenance required uh, that goes along with uh, having a rental property. And when you rent to own, we're making it in our lease, the responsibility of each uh, tenant uh, for any maintenance and repairs. And uh, how we're doing it is we're structuring it for five years, that's 60 months. They pay on time for $500 a month that whole time. At the end of five years, we'll give them a bill of sale and they'll own their unit. And then they'll only have to pay us lot rent to keep their mobile home on our land. So at that point, it'll become $275 a month for them and they own their mobile home. So it's a pretty good deal for people moving in here. They, uh, you know, they usually don't have credit or enough cash to buy a home outright. So in this case, it really provides an opportunity for uh, lower income people to become homeowners. Let me show you around the rest of the park just a little bit. 
All right. So as you can see here, guys, we got four units back in this direction here. This is a parking lot, and as you can see, this mound we're walking up here is a is a is a leach field. Anytime you see mounds like that in these uh, mobile home parks, you can assume that it's a leach field. And this is the last stick built house here that's on the property. Um, this is where we have the current on-site manager living, and uh, it's a three bedroom, two bath. It's a great, it's a great house. This produces eight hundred dollars a month in income. And we have six more units over here. They've all been recently latticed and and repaired, and along with storage sheds and there you go that's a good look at it these are some of our handy workers all right thanks guys for tuning in we'll uh see you next time give you an update and let you know how we're doing